sponsorship or branded content can seem a bit scary in the early days. I mean, if your downloads are in the hundreds rather than the thousands, then is it really worthwhile? Well, most people say no when you're at that stage. But I just learned a new way to make that a yes, and it's called the sponsorship continuum. It can work for you even if you could fit your audience into your living room. So that's what you'll learn on this video, how to win with low audience sponsorship and how that evolves as your audience grows. First though, a bonus resource before we jump into it. If you're really niche, a really specific topic, it's totally possible to negotiate a much higher price than your average CPM with any brand. That's if you reach the exact audience that they target. I've got a written guide on that. So check the description below for a link right to that resource. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button to make sure you get all our advice on podcasting and content creation in future. But let's get into the sponsorship continuum. This works whether you're niche or far more general. And it's all about knowing where you are in your journey and picking the right pitch for a sponsor based on that. I learned this from Justin Moore just recently. He's the founder of Creator Wizard and talk about niching. His whole concept is around helping content creators work with brands to get more sponsorships. I asked him to walk us through the sponsorship life cycle from small show to big. And he really got my nerdy juices flowing because, well, what is he? <laughs> Let's see. I'm a framework guy, if it's not obvious already. <laughs> but um, uh, I have this uh, another framework called the sponsorship continuum. Actually, should I just pull it up? Should we just do this thing? The, the best way that I, I can describe this is that when you're in the beginning of your journey, what you pitch has to change. Okay, because if you, let's say, are getting 50 or 100 downloads per podcast episode, and your pitch to the brand is, hey, let me talk about you on my podcast. It's likely not going to move the needle for them. Let's just be real here, right? And so instead, the thrust of your pitch should probably be, hey, I just did an audit of your social presence brand. And I see that you're not posting on social media very regularly. Or I see that you don't have a podcast as a brand. Or I see that you don't have a YouTube channel. I actually have a specialty in that. And I can create some content for you to utilize on your platforms or utilize on your social media, or I can be your podcast host to stand up a podcast for your, I, I think you can be telling your brand story in a more compelling way. And so the thrust of your pitch is, hey, I'm going to create some content for you. It's going to be kind of like consulting. You, you basically say, hey, go look at my podcast because that's my portfolio. That is my credibility. And a lot of people don't think that this is a sponsorship, but it is. You are helping a brand accomplish something. And so if you're feeling as though you don't have a lot of experience or you don't have a very large audience or you don't have a ton of influence, starting at this beginning of the continuum and, and serving brands in this way can be really powerful. And then let's say we grow a little bit, right? Now we're getting hundreds or thousands of downloads on the podcast. Yeah, maybe it's a combination what you pitch now, consulting, content for the brand to use. And yeah, maybe posting natively on your podcast or doing an ad read starts becoming meaningful. Now we achieve some serious skill. We're moving to the very far end of the, of the continuum and you're getting tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of views on your, you know, you have a much broader reach now. Yeah, creating and posting natively on your platforms is super meaningful to the brand now, right? And, and this is where the, you know, the big podcast sponsor is going to come and pay you a bunch of money. And so I like talking through this continuum because people think, okay, wow, I thought that there was like this threshold that I need to reach before I could start working with sponsors. And, and I think this kind of liberates people to realize, no, it, it just, you, just what you pitch has to change. So I hope that gave you a really good start in figuring out how to run your own sponsorships or brand deals. If you want more on sponsorships, we've got a huge article on how podcast sponsorship works, how you can get started, the kind of prices you can charge, where to look for them, all that kind of stuff. Have a look in the description below for our podcast sponsorship article. And if you do want an easier way to run your podcast, make it so much easier for editing, recording, audio cleanup, all those things, that's exactly what Alitu is designed for. Alitu is a podcast maker app. It has call recording, audio cleanup. Audio editing, including text-based editing and waveform, so you can do your broad strokes on text and then actually take care of the detail in the waveform. And it's got podcast hosting built in as well, free up to a thousand downloads per month. So go over and check out Alitu. That's over at alitu.com, alitu.com. You get a seven-day free trial to see if it works for you. Thanks again. I've been Colin from thepodcasthost.com and I'll see you next time.